we want to do now is round off this corner of the bellows and of the uh, reservoir, and that's the front corner. This will be opening and closing like this, and that leather bellows part will have a lot of activity right in this area, which is quite sharp. And we want to round that corner off so it doesn't have a tendency to uh, wear or poke a hole through the leather. some of the same leather I'm using for the bellows material, that sheepskin or lambskin, onto a heavier piece of leather. And I use that for these valves on the intake and on the exhaust side of the bellows. Glued on each end, and then these are screwed just as a, an extra retainer, which is probably overkill. And there's plenty of clearance in there. When we get done with the leather, all of this area in here has been painted with glue, as has the cardboard. The only areas that have not been coated with something is these area in here, which is the front fold, the gap that goes between the cardboard stiffeners. This area and this area is glued to the wood of the bellows or the reservoir with fish glue, and that would be sealed. Now we want to apply just a little bit of talcum powder on here as a lubricant. And I'm going to try not to get the talcum powder where the fish glue is going to go. That might be easier said than done. I think I've covered putting the leather on the bellows quite well in the busker article or in the busker experiment. One thing I do want to reiterate or express once you start covering this, you don't have time to mess around. You'll have this whole job done in about 10 minutes. I take an acid brush and I cut that bristle down short and use that to apply the fish glue. I want to get it up in that pocket. I want this leather to be wetted with the glue. I work it up in the pocket. I do not want to get it down in that gap if I can avoid it, but I got to get this corner sealed and the only way to do that is to work plenty of glue in there and make sure this leather is wet. And I have a clamp over here holding the bellows collapsed. This is a sticky mess. I get this fish glue from Columbia, Oregon. Very nice bunch of people to deal with. Seem to be very cooperative. This lamb skin or sheep skin is very soft and pliable. It wants to move around on you. So you need to just keep 
stretching that a little bit, make sure that that leather stiffener is staying down inside that gap. leather as tight against that wood as I can. I don't want any possibility of any little air pockets or air channels anywhere on the length of this wood ceiling surface. Lots of paper towels, wet paper towels, dry paper towels. side over here. Then I trim it and wrap it around the back side of the hinge to help make sure that that hinge area is sealed. When you get done covering this, take your clamp off. Make sure that that bellows don't pull on it because these glue joints are still green. Just want to make sure you haven't glued the whole thing together accidentally somehow. You take it over. You turn it over. Put this end in the clamp. Close that up. Make sure that card stiffener is where I want it to be. And I do this side. I covered this yesterday, let it sit around all night. I don't know if you'll be able to see that intake valve working. If you can see the exhaust valve or discharge valve working here. Inflate the bellows all the way. I put a piece of wood on here just to hold that leather against those holes. We'll do a little pressure test. That seems to be pretty good. I'll put some weight on it. I don't think you could ask for any better than that. From this point forward, we want to be real careful how or where we operate this bellows. We don't want any pieces of leather or grit, anything that might get sucked up into this bellows when you do something like this and possibly get it embedded in that leather that's sealing against these holes. And after this is good and dry for a couple of days, I would even put it inside a cloth bag or Probably not a plastic bag, but a cloth bag to keep this as clean as possible until we get it assembled with the reservoir. And then when the reservoir and the bellows are assembled and that air supply is complete, I would certainly put that in some sort of a bag or in a drawer to keep it clean. Comparison of the sizes of the Busker Reservoir, the Senior Reservoir, the Busker Bellows, the Senior Bellows. You can see the Senior is quite a bit larger in all respects. 